first i will share examples of paytm where with onboarding how we onboarded more merchants to the paytm which was lagging in the beginning right uh, before that let me talk the challenges which we were facing in the beginning while onboarding merchants over paytm for business and give a little context what is paytm for business is right paytm for business is a product it's an entire ecosystem which is for the shopkeepers or merchants who are uh, uh, who are millions and billions of people all around our india right and those people every day they interact with lot of customers and receive payments whether in a form of a cash in a form of a qr upi or they have a sound box they have a edc device which is a blue color device with android phone and built in it these are the medium that's how they accept payments daily from our customer now if they use a basic paytm app just to show you or accept payment that also they can do but they have a different lifestyle every every shopkeeper or merchant use uh, do settlement at the end of a day right today how much profit i have made and how much i have lost and what kind of inventory i have left right paytm for business app is catering all those problems it has khata in it you can manage khata uh, you can give udhar to a lot of people right then you can have you can settle the money which you received from customers to the next day to your bank account so that you know how much money you have earned and then while accepting payment you can no different kind of feedbacks uh, that yes x rupees have been received via sound box in phone also there is audio alert service by which you know that paise aa gaye hain all these kind of things speaking in different kind of languages depend on the region you are in so uh, the challenges they were facing is that since we have a limited ground force who are agents who go to merchant and tell them the value of paytm for business and onboard them to paytm because of the limited uh, paytm agent it's hard for merchants to onboard themselves on paytm for business app and because you know these people are from varied background they're not tech users like us there are very simple and basic people who understand hindi and english which means they need a very simple and basic product to understand that previously uh, whenever we are onboarding a merchant uh, it they have to go through on 15 16 steps to become a merchant and in that kind of journey they lose hope and interest that since this app is is taking too long um for example i'll i'll, I'll call out the steps in the beginning just to onboard they have to give their mobile number which is easy for everyone to give then they have to connect their aadhar or pan right but while connecting uh, we are not informing why we are asking for these information and it's very hard for them to say that it can be a fraud why should i give my aadhar and pan to these folks right go same goes with the phone number thing right but since majority of people understand that today um, login and all these things work faster with phone so email is not required and then we ask connect your pan and uh, then we ask we need a bank account so that we can transfer money or the customer paying the money goes into that, that bank account and after the bank account uh, we ask them uh, to map their existing business if they have what kind of categories they were the kind of cat- business category they are in right where is the location their shop is around because we have to check whether the area is fraud proof or not if a area is fraud proof you can't onboard as a merchant right because there is a lot of risk there so those kind of things we are asking but in a random order and uh, the back end is so slow that in certain steps you have to wait for some certain minutes while connecting a bank account there is a challenge that is called penny drop previously that once you connect a bank account we send um, one rupee into your bank account right and then take it back just to verify whether the bank is correct then there is a name check happen the name in your bank account should match with the name you have in your pan or aadhar now imagine lot of these smaller merchants they don't have a same name right they just they just have aadhar because government say so they just have pen because they they have to have it no matter what those are the big challenges to solve because of which we are not having really good numbers of onboarding merchants every day right previously um, around a month uh, while i was working it's around uh, eight, 10 months back uh, uh, a monthly basis merchants onboarding was around um, 2000 or something it which is a very less number as compared to the businesses we have all around india right 
so uh, we worked on this problem statement we know where the challenges are we had the data we have very good project managers in that and together we solved it how we build a story that first when you come we see hey we need your phone number because it's easy for you to go inside it will be secure right they give their phone number then we ask okay now tell me what kind of business you do you can select couple of businesses from that then okay if you are working in an auto if you if you are working in a jewelry shop then um, there are a lot of sub categories of a business also that in a jewelry shop what kind of work you do like you are a uh, you are a direct uh, owner or you are selling gold or you are a wholesale marketer and lot of categories are there we ask those then we say all right now uh, we understand your business let us know that where are you located so that right away in the beginning we know your location and decide whether it's a fraud area or not previously we asked location after 6 7 steps which means you waste a lot of time and then you realize that you can't onboard because you are from fraud area so that is one challenge we ask location and then we figure out okay all right you are good you are genuine and then we uh, ask please share your pan or aadhar any one of the documents so that we verify you whether you are a genuine person or not we ask that they gave and we verify with a check mark and give lot of different kind of feedbacks and then we say all right one last step please connect to bank so that customers pay and you receive the amount into your bank account and they connect their bank very easily because they have to select a bank and then because they have a same phone and the same sim inside their phone you can automatically fetch those accounts and then you can ask okay axis bank or hdfc bank you select and then connect it's very quick and much better than penny drop so we 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 reduce those uh, drop offs happening there and happening for the location right and in the end because uh, while generating product for you we are also pitching couple of basic product hey you are a merchant why don't you buy a qr for just so the customer can accept payment uh, you can accept payment from customers why don't you uh, sh- uh, buy a sound box an edc device right if they are interested they can go to that short journey and every kit they will receive in the end or if they are not interested we generate an automatic in app qr for them which takes around 1 minute maximum 1 minute but it happens in seconds now the challenge is that while generating that qr verifying from back end like connecting whether the name in the bank is same as pan and all these things happens uh you user or merchant has a time right they have to wait previously they have to wait they can't do anything there's a loading happening there but now while doing that we play a, a, a short video in the background explaining them that there's a there's a small story of a merchant and then the girl comes in and they buy and all that chat happen so that they can engage themselves till the time the qr is generated the moment it generated it pops out saying hey your qr is ready let's go to your home and let's uh, let's show you what you can do then they go to their home home is also personalized based on the merchant and you know why don't you connect your since your bank is connected here your qr is like we help them uh, show them some couple of hints where the location is where the elements are that hey at the bottom you can buy a couple of item and since the interface is very close to paytm those folks know how to use paytm they can easily use this product because they are consistent that's how we uh, increase merchants and average 8000 merchants started onboarding just after the launch of this which is a very good number for us which is which is very we are very happy that we are able to help lot of merchants you can change language in the beginning and that is not a big challenge which that is easy so that's how we help paytm merchants to onboard on paytm for business